Imagine for a moment that the rock layers of the Grand Canyon are tilted. In the Sandia Mountains of New Mexico, the hard crystalline granites appear at the surface and the horizontally bedded limestones and sandstones sit on top, slanted at an angle of about 30 degrees. This is often how the rock deposits are arranged on the continents, the result of folding and faulting through the ages. The granite, instead of forming vertical canyon walls, weathers into spires and peaks, vaguely reminiscent of landscapes in oriental paintings. The limestone, once lying above the granite, has weathered away to a distant white wall, leaving no remnants of its passing. The Sandia Mountains and the Grand Canyon. Similar rocks arranged in a dissimilar way. When the forces of erosion work upon these surfaces, the landscapes will predictably possess variety. In New Mexico, the jagged projection of ship rock rises as a dramatic example of differential erosion. The remains of the neck of an ancient volcano, it is composed of once molten rock that solidified on its way to the surface. In time, Persistent erosion has weathered away the huge cone that once stood over it and the land that surrounded it, leaving shiprock a petrified dreadnought guarding its placid sea. Many vestiges of once active volcanoes are scattered across the world's continents. In the midst of Montreal, Mount Royal. In Edinburgh, Castle Rock stands in the center of the city, once the heart of an ancient volcano, now the foundation of a fortress. When rock layers are so arranged that harder, more resistant beds sit above the softer ones in a vertical sequence. The process of erosion tends to create an escarpment formation. Along the Niagara escarpment, the softer rock has been eroded back, undercutting the harder cap rock. This action can only progress to a certain point before the sheer bulk of the overlying rock collapses unsupported. A more rapid erosion is taking place where the Niagara River boils over the escarpment. Over a period of time, successive collapses of the unsupported ledge have moved the edge of the falls further up the river, leaving behind the deep cavity of the gorge. Although initially a seemingly incongruous comparison to Niagara Falls, these butte and mesa formations of the arid American Southwest were, in fact, created by a similar force. Numerous rivers once torrented over this area, cutting deep gorges like Niagara in many directions. Long vanished, the rivers left these escarpment forms to weather by the much more gradual force of wind-blown sand.
on the top of one precipitous mesa, the Indian town of Acoma. According to some authorities, it is the oldest continuously inhabited community in the United States. In all cases of erosion, the forms that are created, the forms that add such